everyone. Uh, my name is Arun Mahal, I'm the director of Sierra Darvis. Thank you for the introduction, really appreciate that. Uh, very happy to be here in front of you all today. There's so many functions within the business that a lot of the time we forget that there's a specific system that we must that we must follow. Right? And you always hear us talk about or your leaders should talk about system, 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 system. And the thing is, if we're not following that system, if we're not uh, sometimes, you know, getting ourselves back on track and making sure we're aligned, eventually it's just like that car that's going to, to fall apart, right? So one of the biggest things when it comes to following the system is, is discipline. But not just discipline, it's, it's self-discipline. You know, a lot of us have that discipline. We do the things we're supposed to do every single day to get our business going. But generally speaking, that's what I think you have to hold you accountable. Right, that's me as a leadership holding you accountable. My question is, what if someone's holding you accountable? Are you going to continue to do the things that you need to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis to build your business? Like Self-discipline is more important than being disciplined. Okay? Whether someone is watching you or not, whether someone is keeping you accountable or not, whether anyone's watching you or not, you do what you're supposed to do. That's self-discipline. You know, sometimes you go into the training, you go to the DTMs, and sometimes, you know, we feel like, oh my god, I've heard this before, right? Has that ever happened when you go to a training, you're like, oh my god, it's the same thing again, right? Okay. But my question is, well, yeah, sure, it is the same thing again. That's what the system is supposed to be. If it's the same thing over and over again, my question is, are you actually finding yourself? Are you doing those things? Are you taking act upon those things that you're learning? Are you following that, are you following that path? We all come from a different walk of life, different background, we're different in every way, shape, and form. But, we all have one thing in common. We all have one thing in common. What is it? We all just want to succeed. We just want to win. We want to go win for our family. We want to go win for our community. We want to go win for our future. We just want to go make it happen. And that's our why. You know, so if you have your why, do you know why you do this business? crystal clear. You can have it in front of you every single day. When you wake up in the, in the morning, do, do, you, do, you, do you read your why to yourself? Not that you don't need to read your why to yourself. You wake up, you pop up, you have to tell yourself what you, what, you know, what's your purpose. You have to remind yourself. That's just, that's, that, that, that's a level of accountability right there. That's a level of alignment with yourself. That's you being aligned with where you want to go. You know, the system, the leadership, all of that is there to do what? It's a leverage, it's a tool. It's a tool for you to use. But the question is, are you using it? Do you know who you are? Do you know who your leadership are? Have you skinship with them? Have you got the chance to get to know them? Do you know yourself who you are? See, sometimes it's very difficult to figure out someone else when you can't figure out yourself. And then whenever you're working with your mentor, is, is there salvage? Is there, do you, is there appreciation? That's a two-way street. It, is that appreciation there? That's a form of alignment. How often do you communicate with your trainer, with your mentor? How often are you going out there trying to pick their brains? yourself that question. And I assure you, the ones that are not doing that, they're having a tough time. When you run through your team, when you run through your organization, if you talk about the status of your team, the status of your agents, a lot of times that actually gives you a reality check of if you're working or not. I challenge you. You don't send emails, send emails. <coughs> Take the time to do that. You're going to realize if you're working or you're not. You're going to find out where you're falling apart and where you're coming up. Are you showing up to BPM because you want to or because you have to? You have to want to show up to BPM. If I don't show up to BPM, I don't know if that's why they're going to show up to BPM. But if I was to not, if I was to not go to BPM, or if we were to not have a BPM one day, I feel it's too long. I get, I get out of alignment. Why? Because I'm aligned with the meetings. I have the meeting mentality. That mentality is built that I have to go to the meetings. Because if I don't, I, I got used to running that system. And if I don't go to the meetings, I fall out of the line. 
I get confused. I, I, I go crazy. You know, ultimately, you know, when you're when you're accountable, it also helps you be efficient. It helps you with your efficiency. When you communicate with your leadership, when there's confusion, what do they do? They translate, they break things down to you. Do you always understand everything? No. Matter of fact, there's a lot of things in this business you're not gonna understand. You're gonna understand it over time. You're gonna understand it as you do it. You're gonna understand it after you do it. That's why coachability is so important. What's coachability? Doing things, you know, when you're asked to do something, it doesn't make sense, you just do it. A lot of people need to know exactly why they do things before they do it. But let me tell you something, if we continue to sit there and not and, and be uncoachable and not listen and not follow, by the time the time comes that we understand what it is, it's too late. Your your life, your your car, your business is already falling apart. In this business, the sky's the limit. But the question is, are you lined up? Hundred percent. Hey, on that, thank you for your time.